Artificial intelligence becomes more and more popular nowadays, and a lot of people have a question, can ChatGPT teach me how to code? And I already heard lots of success stories how developers are using ChatGPT to work more efficient and that they're using ChatGPT like a colleague or a developer who can help them to solve their problems. Yes, it is entirely true, but I think that ChatGPT is not suitable for all developers at once. It is more suitable for more advanced developers than the beginners. Why that? Because advanced developers have more knowledge regarding how things should be written or how they are working. Beginners are lacking this knowledge and if they are getting wrong answers from ChatGPT, they won't validate them and they will treat them like a correct answers. Here I asked ChatGPT to design a roadmap plan for becoming a front-end developer when I am a complete beginner. And actually the answer here is completely correct. We are starting with HTML, CSS, responsive design, then we are diving deeper in JavaScript, Git. I would argue that Git might not be needed for complete beginner, the same as build tools, especially things like Gulp, which is already dead lots of years. And after this we are looking on frameworks like for example React, Vue or Angular. SAS preprocessors is nice to know, but not really needed for beginners, as well as package managers is a needed knowledge. After this, accessibility is for sure not a beginner knowledge, performance optimization same here, testing also not a beginner knowledge. Step 5 is to build projects and get some real experience. Personal projects is completely fine, open source contributions, I would not tell a beginner to try and do that. Looking for a job is obviously a good idea, and then continuous practice and so on. Essentially, this list is 90% good. But I would not blindly take such list from ChatGPT if I am a complete beginner. At least you need to take this list and validate it on some forms or ask some experienced developer if you know somebody to validate the roadmap. Because you don't really want to spend your time on technologies which you don't really need for your job. And this is one of the problems with ChatGPT. It is difficult for beginner to understand if the answers are valid or not. I'm sorry for interruption, but I just want to let you know that I have lots of advanced courses on different web technologies where we create real applications and prepare for the interviews. You can find the link in the description box below. Now let's jump back into the video. And a lot of people are saying ChatGPT can be your mentor and fully replace a person. I don't think that it is true at all. A mentor is a knowledgeable person which has lots of experience and will give you correct answers. If ChatGPT can't give you fully correct answers every single time, this is not a replacement. Which essentially means you always must validate everything that ChatGPT shows you. So if you can find a knowledgeable mentor, it is always better for your progress. Where ChatGPT really shines is in concept clarification. Really often you can find some dry documentation on the official website, which is not understandable at all even for advanced developers. If you are a beginner it is even worse, but ChatGPT can really help you with that, because it is amazing in concept clarification. As you can see here, I said that I don't know how use effect is working inside React, and I really need to understand it in simple terms. Here we are getting what is use effect, and what it allows us to do, and how it works. So when it runs, what does it do, how you should use it. And here you have an example how it works with a list of points which are describing what this feature is doing here. And the most important point, this is not just one answer like in Stack Overflow, you can ask follow-up questions. For example here I can ask, is use effect asynchronous or synchronous? And here you will get a nice answer that use effect itself is synchronous, but the code inside use effect can be either synchronous or asynchronous. Then you are getting more explanation and an example. Another important point how ChatGPT can help you if you are a beginner is by explaining to you a code that you have inside your project. Really often beginners don't understand the code that is written and it might be easier to take this code line by line and understand the meaning of it. Without ChatGPT, previously it was extremely difficult, 
you need to ask on Stack Overflow what this code does to understand every single line and making a clear picture for you. As you can see here, I can simply write, I don't understand what this code does in Angular. I am throwing inside a function and here I am getting an answer what this snippet is doing with every single line. Here we have an add item function and this is a method. We have here const target and this line retrieves a target element from the DOM node. Then this code updates the list of items stored in behavior subject and this line updates the behavior subject itself. And here you can even see a summary of this function so you understand better what this function must do for you. But it is not always helpful. As you can see here, I wrote, I don't understand what this code in Angular does. And here I pasted the code with computed property from Angular 17. What ChatGPT says that code snippet is not a typical Angular code and the computed function is not a part of Angular standard syntax, which essentially means ChatGPT can't really give us a correct answer to this question because he doesn't know all concepts of Angular, especially when this concept is quite new. Another amazing way how ChatGPT can teach you coding is when you are stuck with some error. For example, here I am asking, I'm getting an error, cannot read property of undefined reading map. And something like this you can typically have as a beginner. What ChatGPT does, it describes why it happens at all, that we're using map method on something which is undefined and we might assign incorrect value inside. And here we have a list of steps that we need to do in order to debug a problem. So check an array reference, inspect the data source, check asynchronous data, conditional rendering, and so on. Which essentially means even if you are a beginner, you are getting a list of steps that you can do in order to fix your problem. Another amazing way for the beginner to use ChatGPT is to ask it to improve your code. Here I wrote, can you improve this code? And they simply throw the whole file with bad code here. And typically the code of beginner developers is not written in a good way. And ChatGPT can help you to write your code on a much higher level. Here we got the whole improved version and essentially from the code here, it is quite a good code. I would write some things differently, like for example here we are using use effect in order to set different data, we can do it on initialize, but other than that, all code here is really dry in comparison to that general code that I pasted here. Where a lot of people have problems is in creating their own projects, because it is really easy to start writing some small chunks of code, but it is difficult to implement the whole project from start to the end. And a lot of beginners simply don't know where to start and what to do. This is exactly where ChatGPT can help you. You can simply ask, please write for me steps to implement the project. So you are not asking ChatGPT for the code, you are simply asking for the guidance how you might implement a project. And typically this guidance is really good. For example, here I asked about steps to implement a to-do application with list of to-dos with functionality like add, edit, toggle, remove, and filters by active, all, and completed. And here are our steps. First of all, project setup. We need to install necessary dependencies. Here is a component structure. Main component, header, to-do list, footer. Looks really fine. Everything is split. State management, we can use different things. Here is a functionality that we need to implement in the state. Here is our filtering, user interface, testing and debugging, deployment, and so on. Most importantly, you can continue asking questions about how to implement a specific part of your application and it can guide you through implementation. Then you can ask for the code and compare your own code with the code of ChatGPT to write code better. So I would say ChatGPT can teach you how to code. Obviously, you need to understand how to use it correctly for that, but it can help tremendously beginners and advanced developers. And if you are interested how to write your own API by using ChatGPT, make sure to check this video also.